Hey everyone, it's a chaplain here coming to you with a little Russia turn five in the BB3 game I'm playing with Lieutenant Dan, calling it Operation Mincemeat. Um, <clears throat> Germany is not my favorite country to play against. Um, Dan and I were talking today, and uh, Russia is absolutely my worst country to play as the Allies, and I've said it before and I'll say it again. Um, Leningrad has fallen, <laughs> Stalingrad is about to fall, this whole thing is a mess, it's ridiculous. So, uh, Germany is a monster. All right, so, um, what that means for me. I don't think I have any combat movements as the Russians. Um, I, I can't retake Leningrad. I've got three infantry and two artillery. I mean, I could in theory. You know what? I do have an attack. I'm going to hit Finland because I can, and Karelia is worth one. Um, but first, purchases. I've got 32 to spend, and I'll never have that much again. Uh, I'm going to add two diplomatic chips for two, and I'm going to buy 10 infantry. So, there's that. Money is gone. It's all gone. <clears throat> and then, yeah. From Karelia, I've got two artillery and three infantry attacking his infantry everything else is going to be non-combat so let's go to the dice tray hey that actually looks pretty good zoomed in i was pulling out the diplomacy chips to make sure that we were all square lieutenant dan uh, called me yesterday so that we could pull for uh he could pull for sweden and uh it went pro axis so hopefully by me doing it, by me attacking, rather, um, in Finland, I can prevent him from just walking in there. Um, I bought two chips, so I'm out of allied chips, so I'll deal with that later. Anyway, I have two artillery and three infantry, two of which are supported. Into the cup. I just need one hit for Finland. I only got one hit. Cool. So I'm going to throw his defense. It's a miss. I take Finland. Yay, Finland. Da 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 da. Da 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 Get out of here. You get out of here too, punk. Cool. Well, that's two for Russia. That feels good. No losses. That's nice. Considering everything else sucked. All right. So that means Russia's going to go up to 23, you guys. That's awesome. All right, cool. <laughs> Non-combat. Let's zoom out. Tanks in Vologda coming down to Russia. Infantry in Smolensk is backing up. Destroyer in 127. Doesn't have a naval base anymore, so he's just going to go over into 125. The sub in 125 is gonna come down to 110, make his way into the Atlantic. Um, one infantry in the Caucasus, Caucasus, is gonna move up to Stalingrad. Three infantry from Tambov up into Russia. One infantry from Amur, probably not near Viewfinder. One infantry from Amur is gonna use the railroad come all the way in. One infantry from Siberia comes down into a moor. Um, chicken pot pie. Okay, he doesn't have any tanks here, so he would have to stop in Smolensk with a tank. So I'm gonna leave Archangel there. <clears throat> and I still have my dadgum Navy here. Just ticks me off can't get him out because I don't control Denmark. Um, anyway, that is going to be it. Disposition of Russian forces. Oh, I get to play some. I bought 10 infantry. Uh, they're all going into Russia. So there's a red chipper and a red chipper. Disposition. I've got a destroyer in 125, a sub in 110, a sub and cruiser in 115, three infantry and two artillery in Finland, 
one infantry in Archangel, one infantry in Caucasus, Stalingrad, Tambov, one infantry in Amur, five infantry in Siberia. There are two tanks, one AAA, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, twenty-three infantry in Russia. <sighs> He's gonna hit me. He's gonna bring three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. He can get fourteen tanks. One, two, three, four, five. He can para drop four infantry, and he can fly all those dadgum planes. Well, not all of them. I did shoot down some of them in his Leningrad 2.0. He'll have four tacticals, and I have a AAA, so there's no target select on my tanks. I'm going to lose Moscow, aren't I? It's okay. It's just a game. I never claimed to be good at it. <laughs> all right, so Russia collects 23 plus 2 for Northwest Iran, which is a national objective. So Russia will collect 25 IPCs. And if Moscow survives, you can bet you already know what I'm gonna purchase with it. So here's 25. That's it. I really think that's it. Russia was super duper easy because they are just rolling over. <laughs> I'm the chaplain. I'll be praying for you. <laughs>